Hello and welcome to another video presentation from Address Professional Services. My name is Greg Benson Shettle. I'm an application engineer here at Address Limited. In this presentation, we'll be continuing our look at Autodesk 360 Cloud Services. And in particular, we're going to be looking at Autodesk Cloud Rendering Service. To get a good overview of the Autodesk 360 in general, please take a look at our earlier videos. You'll find them on our YouTube channel. All the W's, youtube.com forward slash address, A-D-R-I-S, L-T-D. And there you'll find parts one and parts two of our introduction to Autodesk 360 Cloud Services. Autodesk 360 Rendering Service has been especially designed for AutoCAD and for Revit. And there are plugins available so that you can render directly out of AutoCAD 2012 and Revit 2012 to your Autodesk 360 Cloud account. However, it works best with Revit 2013. No plugins required. In 2013, there have been many improvements in the rendering tools, including the introduction of Warp, a new technology to replace the old OpenGL system. With Warp, Revit can render with advanced visualization techniques such as ambient occlusion, surface transparency, improved anti-aliasing, ray tracing, exposure control, and the RPC content can actually display what they look like rather than the cardboard cutout representations that we're used to seeing. Naturally, Autodesk 360 is available from your desktop as well as your mobile devices. OK, so let's see how it works. Autodesk 360 rendering service has been designed to allow you to create photorealistic visualizations in the cloud releasing your hardware so you can carry on working with your design work or switch your PC off and go for a well-earned cup of coffee. Cloud rendering services available to all Autodesk subscription users. OK, for now, we'll start looking at the website and then we'll look at rendering directly out of Revit a bit later. So coming to the 360.autodesk.com site, you can sign in in the usual way and on the right hand side we have the benefits panel. One of those benefits, of course, is the Autodesk 360 rendering service, which we're looking at today. Click on the link. This will then launch a new page where it's going to invite you to join the 360 service. I'd like to point out a little area here, which is a trial available for rendering. Basically, 75 cloud units are available free of charge. As a subscriber, you also get 100 cloud units as well. So what can you actually do with these cloud units? Five cloud units can equate to one visual render. OK, I'm just going to pop back before we sign in, go back to our 360 account because I want to show you something. How do you know how much you've actually used? Go to your account details, wait for that to launch up. And from here, you can check how many cloud units you've actually used. You can see how much storage space that you've used. Let's pan this down. So we have Autodesk 360 subscription, how much storage space you've actually used. And of course, as a subscriber, you can see you can get 25 gigabytes of space available up in the cloud. And then looking further down, we've got the Autodesk 360 rendering. And here it tells you usage. Currently, I have used no units. Now, that's quite interesting because I have actually uh, done some rendering in the cloud. And I'll tell you why. Right now is a great opportunity to take full advantage of your cloud units because even if you use up all of your credits, you can carry on rendering until Autodesk set up their cloud units because they're going to be setting these up as a payment system, but we don't know when. So let's take advantage of it right now and get as much rendering as we can for free. OK, when you're done reviewing your account settings, you can press the Done button and that will return you back to your Autodesk 360 main page. So we'll select back into our Autodesk 360 rendering option. I've got one open here already, so we'll take a look at that. Now, here is the first page that you're going to be met with, and there are two sections. In this area here, this is your AutoCAD area. Okay, so right from here, if you want to upload a 3D model that you've generated in AutoCAD, simply hit the select file, a traditional browser comes up and from there you can find your local content 
and then start uploading it. But of course, if you've got Revit, then you can actually download a plugin. Okay, download here, click on the button, and that'll be suitable for your Revit 2012. Okay. And now let's take a look at Revit 2013. Here we have a standard plan in front of us. Uh, let's take a look at some 3D views that we've already uh, rendered up. Open up this one here. And notice our famous cardboard cutouts that look so great in this view. Uh, we'll have another look from the one of the other views, maybe from the parking area. Wait for that to come in. And once again, we've got our cardboard trees that we all love. I mentioned earlier that uh, with the new technology, the warp technology, we can now actually see what these look like. So go down into our visual styles. Let's go to realistic. That'll take a few moments to render up. We can see the counter counting up in the uh, bottom left hand corner. And there we have trees that look like trees. Fantastic. OK, how do we actually get this rendered in the cloud? First of all, we go to our view menu. Click on view. There she is. And in our graphics panel over here, we've got rendering. This is for local rendering on your hard drive. But we don't want to do that. We're going to render in the cloud. And there's a button designed expressly for that purpose. So let's click on the button and see what happens. Obviously, it needs to connect. It's signing in. So I need to sign in here. Once again, I try to remember my ever so difficult password and sign in. Here we go. We've got a three step process that's presented in front of us. Step one, to begin rendering your cloud, on the next screen select the 3D views to start rendering. Step two, the service will notify us when our images are ready. And step three, we go to the render gallery on our Autodesk 360 site to actually see it. OK. A little description there, always helping you. That's the Autodesk way. Hit the Continue button. And here we go. Render in the cloud. That's what we're going to do today. 3D view from the parking area. Yes, that's what I want. But you'll notice that it recognizes all the other views that I have available. And you can tick whichever ones you need in your project. We'll stick with just the one for the moment. Uh, you can then decide on the output type. Drop down here. You'll notice you can even do interactive panoramas, which are quite fun. Render quality, draft, standard, high and best. For the moment, we'll keep the standard. Exposure, native or advanced. I'll keep that at the standard setting there. And once again, what size is your output? Now, keep in mind that the larger your output size, and these are measurements are in pixels, the larger this is, the longer it will take. So if you're doing just a first proof off, just do a small one before you actually do that poster size print for the exhibition that you've got coming up. And once again, you may want to consider the file format to think about as well. PNG, lossless, or JPEG, or TIFF. PNG I'm quite happy with. And remember the little tick box we have down here, notify me by email when complete. OK, if you're happy with all of your settings, all you need to then do is hit the Start Rendering button. And we click on that. It starts gathering the information from your project. This takes a few moments to uh, process. It's going through and it's assessing. And because it does need to gather all of the data, if you've got anything missing or if there's something not quite right in your model that perhaps you've overlooked in, in the haste to get this out before 5 o'clock, the following render appearance images are missing. So here it tells me that I need to go off and find a couple of maps that are missing. So that's great news. You won't waste any of your cloud units rendering something that's not going to come out quite right. For now, I'm going to accept that, though. And off it goes. You'll find there's a button down here where we can actually just click on to continue the upload in the background. So that's precisely what we're going to do for now. And now we can carry on working any other work that we need to. Later on, what's going to happen is we're going to receive an email. And I'll show you what that looks like. So while you've been working on the rest of your project, your renders have been rendering up in the cloud. 
and then after a short while an email will arrive and this confirms that your images are now ready for you to review and we can take a look at this simply by clicking on the links in addition to being able to review your renders via the email you can also do this directly out of your Revit 2013 once again we look on the view tab and there we have the render in the cloud button and next to that conveniently positioned is render gallery you can click on the render gallery and this will launch your Autodesk 360 rendering and there we have it your render gallery in your 360 rendering account and there's a little thumbnail of what you've got it confirms just by hovering over it what the name of it was when it was rendered the size of it and we've got a drop down and from the drop down you can decide further actions to take re-render render as a panorama show as a preview image or you can download it from here now bear in mind we're now on the internet we're now in the wonderful World Wide Web so you could be checking out your renders from anywhere you like you no longer have to be actually at your workstation to view what you've been doing and if you click on these it will actually show you a full-size image of the render that we've done okay even this is a smaller version but you can download the whole thing some additional actions that we see here download all delete all re-render all and you can also search other renders that you may have done in the past as well and you've got version control and also what other views are available and that's Autodesk 360 rendering it really is as simple to use as just a few clicks directly out of the product you're already using Revit 2012 and Revit 2013 so sign up right now and claim your 75 cloud units and start rendering today in the cloud open up your favorite browser and type in 360.autodesk.com thank you for your time today I hope you found it useful and for more videos please take a look at our YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash address dot ltd once again thank you and goodbye for now